This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Mesa Ridge XLT model 354 MBH. Okay, so this is not a floor plan video. This is not a, a sales video. It's just a how to. I just go over some of the features. Okay, okay, well, we're out here. We can see that there's a quick connect for the LP system to plug into the LP system. Um, also, you have uh, your outside kitchen here. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. Okay, turn my elbow. There it goes. And you'll have to turn your, your gas on here, obviously, for your griddle. Um, you got a dorm refrigerator. Works on 110 AC, and it's uh, there's no switch for it. It's uh, As soon as you plug in your trailer, it turns on, okay? You've got a leveling system, automatic leveling system called... Uh, uh, ground control by Lippert and this is a four-point system so you see you got two in the rear and of course the two landing gear uh, up front um, there's two ways to operate this there's a small panel outside which I'll show you and then you can use the touch panel inside the touch panel inside just has more options basically okay um, your steps obviously fold uh, in and out of the trailer you uh, can adjust the length of the legs by pulling this out there's one on each side and you can move them up and down and, and adjust accordingly. You've got a power awning with LED strip. You got outside speakers. Okay, your pass-through storage here. You have TV hookup here and power, so signal and power. Light. Okay, let's keep going. These are your. You got. So, three 20 pound uh, LP tanks. So you got two on this side and one on the other side. And they just they pull out, okay? Uh, you have two batteries uh, wired together. So um, they put out 12 volts, but you're just doubling your storage capacity, okay? All right. Come around this side. Of course, this is the other. Uh, LP tank. Okay, so let's get in here. This is, uh, just so you know, this is an inverter right here. Inverting is, you may know this, you may not. E inverting is converting uh, DC to AC power, right? So your, your refrigerator in this one is an AC refrigerator. So basically this uh, this inverter is taking energy from your 12 volt batteries and inverting it to to AC power to 110 AC. So your refrigerator will run off the batteries when you're going down the road because your tow vehicle's alternator will be charging the batteries up front. Uh, and also, when you're you're plugged in, you get the same situation. So that's that's what the inverter's for. This right here is a kill switch for your your batteries. You can kill them right there. Um, okay. Now, this is the first way to operate the, the jacks. To, to start this or to turn it on, you push both arrows at the same time. Okay? So you would just push auto level, and it'll level it. When you're ready to leave, you don't push retract all because it'll, it'll, it'll nosedive in the front. Uh, you'll push hitch height. When you push hitch height, it always returns it back to the position it was in before you auto leveled. So when you unhitched your uh, tow vehicle, it remembers that height. The last time you've done it, it remembers it. And uh, it'll return the trailer to that position. So uh, on a good day, you'll be able to slide right underneath and hook up, okay? So that's what that's for. So you go auto level and hitch height are the two most important. Now, I'm not gonna go into, the, on the touch screen, I'm not gonna go into great detail. You, you're gonna kinda have to educate yourself a bit on that, but it's all self-evident. And also, um, you can, you can operate the jack separately there. You can do, just do more things from the touch panel. This is just gives you your two or three most basic features, okay? All right. Sounds good to me. All right, so this is your, uh, your docking station here. Of course, these are the caps for your, for your um, dump, dump of valves. Okay, so basically, First thing you, you, you'll see is you've got your black and gray right here, right? Um, so what you'll do basically is uh, uh, 
you'll dump because uh, the gray is toilet water and waste, or I'm sorry, the black is toilet water and waste and the gray is, is sink and shower water. Um, so you'll dump the black first by pulling it out. Oops, put it back in. You'll dump the black first and then you'll dump the gray. The gray is cleaner water than the black so it'll just wash it out a bit. Um, after you do that, you can hook the hose at the dump station onto your black tank flush, leave this valve open, you turn it on, it'll spray out the inside of your tank, clean off the sensors, that sort of thing. So it's, that's the best way to do it, okay? Now, the, to get water to the trailer, you're gonna, you're gonna hook your hose up here, right? Then, if you look up here, you've got different configurations, right? So, um, we're gonna go for city water. Um, right here so basically that's our you see the red one the blue one in this position and the black one so that's what you have right now now if you wanted to fill the tank let's say you're going to a campground that um, does not have plumbing on the campsite uh, you can pre-fill the tank and you would go to this position here for example right and that way you can feel it. when you're winterizing you would go to this position right and to bypass the water heater, you would do this over here. So I'm going to put it back like it was. But you can use all those different positions. Go over here, these, these are just uh, in, satellite, in and out, cable, in and out, that sort of thing, okay? Um, but you have to configure that. Okay, um, that about covers it in here. Obviously you have a, a, a quick connect hose here. This is a coil with a sprayer um, to hose things down, all right? Okay, so, let me close this, it's getting a little windy here. All right, so this is your water heater from the outside. The switches to control it are inside the trailer. I just wanted to show you that this is where it drains right here. Okay, um, so you would drain it there. Just always make sure the water's cooled down before you do that, of course. Um, but that's where you drain it. I'll show you the switches when we get inside. This particular uh, slide out, it's called a Schwinn Tech, just so you know, as in the bicycle Schwinn Tech. Um, and this one with the with the cables is called an AccuSlide. Two different kinds of slide outs. Okay. Now this is a 50 amp system, so you got a 50 amp cord, and now it's reduced to a 30 amp here. So we give you all the reducers to reduce it down all the way to a 20, 15 slash 20. Of course, you can't run the air conditioning off of that many amps. You have to have at least 30, but. Uh, you can run everything else, okay? Now, this housing tells us we're pre-wired for a backup camera, so you can always add that on. Um, you have a ladder, which is a great thing because the manufacturer states that trailer should be, uh, uh, the roof should be inspected every 90 days, so you need to send someone up there or go up there yourself once every 90 days. Look at all the sealant, make sure there's no sap uh, uh, cracking or separation. Look at the roofing material, make sure there's no damage. Look at uh, the vent covers, make sure they're not cracked by low branches, things like that. Just give it a good inspection, and if you see an issue, take care of it immediately. That's important. That's the important thing when it comes to trailer maintenance. That and winterizing. Okay, so. Let's go to the control panel over here. I'll just show you it, and uh, like I said, it's... There's a lot of different features, but there's zillions of videos out there. Anytime you need more information for any of the components to this trailer, go to the manufacturer's videos and they go through the whole thing. Okay. Um, just push the icons to select the different features. This is right, lights and climate control, obviously. Um, uh, that is more detailed lights, right? Your awning lights. Everything, your slide outs, everything is controlled from this panel, okay? Um, some of them can also be controlled manually, depending on, the, on which it, what it is, but um, that's your control panel. Okay, so you have a fan in the bathroom. Make sure you always run the fan with the shower so you can pull the humidity out. It's a pretty big bathroom for an RV. Um, this, of course, is a pre plumbed and wired, let's see if I can get a better shot, for a, a washer-dryer combo. So you can you can put one of those in here if you choose. Or we'll just use it for storage. Um, shower, works like any other shower. Uh, toilet, I'm, I'm sure you've owned RVs before, but the main thing to know about the toilet is you can't use them dry. When we're talking about dry, we're talking about the black tank, which is directly below, right? So that's your flush pedal there. 
So when you get to the campground, you dump, you take your chemical, you dump one dose right in the bowl there. Then you're going to step on the, the pedal, water will come swirling out, wash the chemical into the black tank below, and you're going to stand on it until you put at least a gallon of water in the black tank. All right? You got to do that every time you start off with a dry black tank because if you don't, the smell will be, will be overwhelming. So um, make sure you add chemical and water before you start using it. Okay. Some of these plugs are, uh, are GFCI plugs. Keep that in mind. Even the one on the outside is a GFCI. So everything, all the plugs in the trailer are wired to a GFCI. So even if it doesn't have a GFCI, GFCI plug where you're using it and it pops, you know you're going to come in here and it's going to be this one or one towards the uh, back of the trailer. I think there's two in this one, I think. Okay. Um, so this is all self-evident. you got a second air conditioner. That's why this is a 50 amp system. you can, you got TV hookups here plus power plus a backing plate. That's your climate sensor right there. Now, this bed is uh, moves up and down and there's switches right here. So you can see it. I'm not going to go all the way with it, but you can get an idea. Like so, back up. Okay, and that's done with this switch right here. Alrighty. Keep moving here. I only have limited time on this with this camera until it, it, st it starts another file. I'm supposed to get them all done before that happens. This is the center room here. Um, this obviously bunk obviously folds down uh, to a bed and you could drop the table down under these cleats here and use the back cushion to fill in the space and you got a second bed here if you need it and uh, so on and so forth. TV hookup, um, second door going into the main living area. Okay, while, while we're standing here, this device here is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green like it is. Um, it'll detect carbon monoxide buildup or LP gas. If it goes off, you take everybody outside, leave the door open, shut the gas off at the front and figure out what's going on. Also, if it beeps very slowly, it's telling you that your battery is low. Okay, your refrigerator works like any other refrigerator. Remember I told you that the inverter, which, which inverts, it changes DC to AC power. Um, so you can run this refrigerator from the batteries up front as long as you're hooked to your tow vehicle. and um, you're using your, uh, your, your tow vehicle's alternator to charge it. Now, the thing is, if you, if you go somewhere um, and you shut your vehicle off, you, you wouldn't want to leave it plugged in for the night. You know, you want to be careful that you don't run your battery down or something like that. So keep that in mind. But, uh, nevertheless. All right, so let me look around a bit. You have uh, theater seats here with, uh, with uh, the controls right there. Um, this is a hide a bed, so you pull the cushions off and fold this out into a three panel bed. Why the fireplace is running, I don't know. Uh, there are, is a remote for that. There are, there are three re remotes in here. So you've got one for the, for the fireplace. Now the fireplace has got, you could change the, pitch, the, uh, the appearance of the flame. You can set the temperature, the fan speed. You can, it also has a timer on it, so you can make it turn on, let's say, an hour or a half hour before you get up in the morning to take the chill out, that sort of thing, okay? This is your sound here. Um, you have a USB, so you can stream off a stick. You could put all your albums onto one and take it with you. It has Bluetooth, obviously, so you can stream off your phone or your tablet. Two speaker zones, one is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. And this HDMI is an in, so if you wanted to go into the system, with, let's say with a portable... DVDs or Blu-ray player, for example, you can just set it somewhere and go straight into the system through there. Okay, um, this is it a swing out? No, that it's it just it's a stationary, but they have this on here just so it doesn't bounce off. Okay, so you got a stationary TV. It looks like um, I don't want to. Yeah, it's still here. Let let me unbuckle this so we can swing it open for you. Okay. So this has storage behind it, of course. So it goes way, that one goes way back up there. Um, so we, there you have it. So you got more storage. Um, I'm looking for the, for the uh, power converter here. Let's see where it's at. I must have walked past it somewhere. 
Okay. You look here. Nope. <laughs> oh, here it is, right here, right where it was at. All right. So I told you about the inverter, right? So the inverter. Uh, let me see if I can get a better position here. The inverter uh, converts or inverts power from from DC to AC. This is a converter. All trailers have this one. This one converts AC to DC power. So when you're plugged in, you, you have AC power. You see these are regular circuit breakers like you have at home, and they're all labeled. So everything that runs off AC power is controlled here. Then the power is converted over to DC power down here. Um, you have fuses, 12 volt fuses and circuit breakers here, and they're all labeled. Right? So everything that runs off of 12 volt in a trailer does, because they like to use 12 volt. So that's where the power is converted right here. So, like I said, you invert up at the front. That's converting DC to AC, or inverting DC to DC, and this one converts AC to DC. Okay. Also, an important thing is when when you're plugged in, this is a battery tender. So it'll always set how much energy your two batteries need, and it'll keep them charged up. I mean, if they're low, it'll send 10 amps or whatever it needs. If um, if they're topped off, it'll just trickle a couple amps and. Uh, trickle charge it so um, it's smart that way so it also keeps your battery charged when you're plugged in which is a great feature of course all right what did I do I think I did not do the the uh, oven you know first of all you have a microwave um, works like any other microwave um, you have vent light that sort of thing too so it's vents um, this this sparks to light. So this is the sparker right here. You just turn it clockwise. So I'm not sure if he's got the gas on here, but let me see. Yes, he does. So right there, you turn on the turn it on, and there you have uh, 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 the burners. Three, burn, three burners, three knobs. There's also lights here too. Um, so this this right here is the is the oven knob. Now the oven is a little different. It has a, a pilot light way in the back there on the bottom. Let me see if I can spark it so you can see it. Maybe you can, maybe you can. It's kind of hard to see. But what you do is you go to pilot here. You push it in and depress it and hold it during the whole lighting procedure, right? So you keep it in. You spark it by turning this clockwise until your pilot light down here lights. After it lights, you're still holding this in. You hold it for another 10 seconds to heat it up. You go to your operating temperature, and uh, it cycles as an, uh, as an oven does. But when you shut it off, the flame goes out, of course. But so does the pilot light. So you got to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Okay, let me look around and see if I forgot anything here. I think I covered it. I think so. Okay. All right, well, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. And please remember what I said about inspecting the roof every 90 days. That's very important. It's not just for this trailer. It's every trailer ever made. People do not inspect their roof and seals uh, enough, but it's something you want to keep after. Also, make sure you winterize it before it freezes. Okay? Thank you very much.